once again with a new video about the celestial journey of planets we are discussing about venus the love planet how it is going to transit in the mysterious scorpio zodiac scorpio being the second zodiac of mars gives a passionate feeling into the uh, venus energy the combination of the love of venus and the passion of mars makes things become little bit hot up venus is represented by the tarot card empress the card of fructification love passion giving everything in life have, having a contented life and scorpio is represented by the card the death card which uh, seeks transformation in life which doesn't work anymore which doesn't serve the purpose anymore that clearing out of the life so the combination of these two cards makes things little bit rageful and some mysterious things happening some unwanted uh, incidents happening to make way to pave way for some good so in the early stages it may appear to be chaotic confusing and later on it will settle up so the venus will be transiting into the star jeshtha this jeshtha is represented by the tarot card the seven of cups again seven of cups has the energy of confusing it appears to be something but it is something different what it appears it's not like that some is really true and some are really fake so it need empress has to make decision whether she is in the right direction or she is taking a wrong curve or she is carried away by something or she is becoming more passionate and possessive or she is letting go of things this uh, jeshtha nakshatra can give such confusions coming up in life so one need to be very careful in taking decision jeshtha nakshatra has the arohana shakti arohana shakti means aviation getting up and up and up so that energy is given uh, is of jeshtha nakshatra to rise to conquer to win under any circumstances uh, even if it demands some destruction there is no uh, thinking twice about it want to achieve the goal such type of mental uh, thing it gives you it gives that uh, mental capacity to somehow win over your opponents so win over the situation to gain the situation to get the and reach the goal so to overcome all these obstacles in life jeshtha gives you the help and venus in the scorpio makes things more powerful things becoming very crucial at this time for transformation in life from long time something was paining you something was not good something was going against you now you will get the inner courage to overcome all those things which is giving you problem and it will give you the zeal to fight till the end and win over all the negative things which are giving hurt and unwanted disturbances in your life whether it is your family life or your business associates and all venus being the planet of love and relationship gives more uh, emphasis on love and relationship but it depends upon the house what scorpio falls to each zodiac Now, now i will go deeply into each zodiac how this zodiac transit of venus in jeshtha nakshatra of the scorpio uh, works for each zodiac subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get all the new videos that we post so that you don't miss it share and uh, like the videos if you like our video kindly like and share because the word of taroscope can go to one and all stay tuned till the end so that in the end i will be giving you the remedies for all the 12 zodiacs if you want my consultation you can uh, check up with whatsapp in the number in the description and also in the screen aries for aries this transit of venus in scorpio happens in your 8th house and the kalpurush house also is the 8th house so this uh, aries will have little more impact rather than all other zodiacs because the aries is also ruled by mars and the 8th house is also ruled by mars and mars is debilitated 
So because of debilation, it doesn't mean that Mars is losing its power. The aspect of Saturn from Aquarius to Mars in the Cancer can make things go little here and there. So that uh, part you have to take care. So Mars uh, house in the 8th house for Aries, Scorpio, their uh, Venus is transiting, will create a lot of confusions in the Jeshta Nakshatra, also ruled by Seven of Cups, will create a lot of things which are apparent to be there, they may not be real, but you feel it's the Empress card uh, transiting there will make you take hasty decision. You think that what it is, I have seen it, I have seen it red handed. It is like that they are doing that, these people are doing that. I know them from long time, they are that now I have got the evidence. Such things it will make you to think like that, but sometimes it may be right, it may be wrong. You have to take decision meticulously, not just by the uh, news you get or just by having some little bit information you go by that it will bring permanent damage to your relationship that part you have to take care otherwise there may be a lot of chaotic situations coming in something drifting away in your life because of your anger and rage you may be creating some unwanted situation at home taking uh, de hasty decisions unpleasant decisions to walk away from the home or to eliminate someone from your life all such things can happen can bring a death like situation because of the uh, Scorpio energy of death card so initially there may be some painful events happening in your life and later on things may be according to what you wish it may not be the one which is good for you but it will make you to win in your goal so that you want some peace it may be a permanent place later on you may regret for it so before taking any drastic decision it's better that either you postpone till 6th of november or you just keep calm so that the high tides come down calmly and things can become normal once again for Taurus, it is happening in the 7th house. You should be very careful. Some third person involving in getting some unwanted issues in your marital life is indicated. Some doubts between couple and also verbal attacks on each other because of non-clarity of things, because of the 7 of cups. What it appears, it's not like that. It may create some unwanted... You say something, but it appears to be something different to your spouse and your spouse says something it appears something different to you so communication gap can create lot of problem so you need to be very careful but for anyone who is searching for a life partner in life you may meet someone in life but at that at this junction also be careful they may appear to be good later on they may appear to be something different so taking you can just have some talk and all and investigate not take a complete decision and go deep into the relationship that is not advised it can start a relationship but don't take any drastic decision within this 10 days period it may later on be uh, regretful and for Gemini, you, this is happening in your sixth house. Already, if you had any persons in your life who were creating a lot of problem, now the problem may be a little bit high and then you uh, eliminate them from your life and you take some drastic changes in your life so that you can eliminate this problem forever is indicated. So if you were waiting for some decisions to be taken but you didn't add any support, now is the time that you you can take the decision so that you can win successfully and bring back the calmness in your life. If it is pertaining to some debt clearance or money matters, this period can make you to spend uh, ragefully because you just wanted to get rid of all the problems in that situation. Take care and be calm. Think twice and take decision. And for cancer, it's happening in your fifth house. New, new ideas coming up. Especially Especially relating to your relationship, how to take it to the next level. It may create new ideas coming, creative ideas coming in, family giving you support. If you had any relationship problem with your wife or your spouse, your children can help you at this time. Taking their help will give you a lot of relief and a lot of confusion is also indicated.
irritated because you are not able to express properly but now you can express your uh, heart desires and your feelings in a better way so this time period we can say it is a very good uh, time period for cancer to bring lot of changes in your life for leo this is happening in your fourth house you should be very careful because venus there can give you tempting offers coming in to buy something for home for renovating home or buying some luxurious car or buying a property and all it appears to be very good and you want to temptly buy that and later on it may bring some problem similarly if you have any differences with your spouse you should be very careful in your words otherwise the differences can become more the uh, distance can become more so that part you have to take care and for virgo this is happening in your third house so communication gap can be more because uh, venus in the jeshtha nakshatra of the seven of cups can give you unclear uh, motive of your partner or uh, your partner doesn't mean your uh, your life partner it can be even your business partner this uh, because virgo is uh, in scorpio or the one and three combination the third house mainly gives relationship issues with your uh, business partner and your siblings and all be careful with them when you talk otherwise the non clarity of issues may create some unwanted disturbances cropping up so be careful and for libra this is happening in your second house so second house can create lot of uh, uh, happiness coming in because of inflow of money you think everything is good and you uh, your savings you remove and you spend because tempting offers are coming that is also indicated so this uh, way you have to be very careful otherwise you will tend to lose money because of tempting uh, uh, offers because of festive season so many things are happening now so now you tempt and spend lot of money there may be problem later on so uh, income of money will also be there because of your uh, hard earned money it can go away that also is there so you should be careful for scorpio it is happening in your own house so there may be lot of blames coming upon you because of your behavior you are not open you are not clear with your expression so there may be lot of mis- understanding coming with your spouse and there may be lot of verbal fights many things happening up you are not in control of it and moreover your uh, uh, zodiac lord is in debilitation and is been expected by saturn from aquarius so there will be lot of pressure on you to take the lead but you are in no mood to take the lead you just want to be in a comfort zone and you want others to take the lead so there the non clarity of your expression and your emotion brings lot of frustration in your spouse and it may create lot of issues be careful be clear be open so that things may not drift away from your hand for sagittarius this is happening in your 12th house your way of thinking your up- approach will be completely different from what the situation demands so, so there may be lot of communication gap and non clarity that will create create some chaotic situation in your life and you want to do something but things are not that way so you take a drastic decision to make things happen so that may create lot of problem and for capricorn this is happening in your 11th house excellent time period help from others and lot of confusions where which were glooming upon your life will clear now and things will become very clear now and you can take good actions and lot of uh, mainly financial and job oriented things which were uh, stagnant from long time will now become better aquarius for aquarius this is happening in your 10th house you should be very careful because your 10th house is scorpio and that is ruled by mars and moreover it is uh, expected by aquarius 
saturn so there may be lot of problem in your job uh, mainly if your boss is a lady boss there may be little bit tension going up unwanted things cropping up and uh, what you have not done may be blamed and what you have done may be overlooked so that part you should be very careful and for pisces this is happening in your ninth house so you may get luck from your spouse if from long time some property was there that your spouse has to get because of your placement of venus in the ninth house can make your spouse get luck so this is very lucky for your spouse and as well as for you to get luck from your spouse so excellent time period very easy remedy for all you guys for all the 12 zodiacs who want to get rid of unwanted uh, result and those who want to get good results for both of them this works listen to uh, the vishnu sahasranama 69 70 71 and 72 verse either you can recite it seven times today or every day till sixth or you can just listen to vishnu sahasranama the whole shloka and you can donate me every day you can donate milk so that if all if you have any negative issue happening if things are not pleasant you can use it this remedy to overcome all unwanted things from your life now i will teach you akasha mudra this akasha mudra can help you to overcome all the negativity of this planetary combination this is akasha mudra morning 3 minutes and evening 3 minutes if you like our channel kindly like share and subscribe